at 11 starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Gasford. Tonight is your final chance to file for retroactive benefits if you're a veteran who may have been exposed to toxic burn pits. It's part of the Honoring Our Pact Act, which expanded health care for millions of post 9-11 veterans. The president's signature on the legislation marked a victory for sick vets. Our Hilly Morgan explains. Those burn pits are now linked to more than 20 illnesses and cancers. Many Vermont soldiers got sick from them and many have died. The legislation provides benefits and lifted the burden of proof from veterans, some of whom had previously fought for years to get their claims approved. But if they want backdated benefits to last year, today's the day to apply. It's hard. You know, when you put a plan together, um, then that plane goes away. June Heston lost her husband, Brigadier General Mike Heston, in 2018 to a rare form of pancreatic cancer after his three deployments to Afghanistan. The cause for his cancer? Toxic burn pits. We have a burn pit down here. The open air trash fires burn all day and all night, and in them, everything is torched with jet fuel, human waste, medical waste, including body parts, metals, fires, everything. Soldiers breathed in the smoke that hung over the basis, and exactly a year ago, President Biden signed an act into law called the PACT Act. It expands VA health care and benefits for veterans exposed to those burn pits, and Heston says this piece of legislative history was long overdue. I do think it was long overdue. I think that there were people working on it long before I joined the team coalition that really was the catalyst, I think, to get this pushed through. For several weeks now, the Vermont Department of Veterans Affairs and White River Junction's Veterans Service Center have been encouraging vets across the state to apply for PACT Act benefits, as Wednesday is deadline for vets to apply for them retroactively. Actively. According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, veterans submitted nearly 250,000 claims in July and nearly 1.9 million since the law passed. The Veterans Service Center says close to 1,000 vets have applied here in Vermont so far, and they want that number to go higher. There's a lot of veterans that still don't know about this legislation or these benefits, so it's kind of a word of mouth. It, it feels great to me, obviously. Uh, I've been doing this for over, over 20 years, and it's nice to to get the benefits out to, to the men and women who deserve. Channel 3 News spoke with General Heston shortly before he died. He told us then the government needs to stand up for the soldiers who serve and the families they leave behind. Never, I never asked for this. It's five years I was away from home. I come back. She's still, she still is there. And she's the one that's picking up the pieces from me. So we got to take care of the family. This is not just affecting the soldier. This affects the whole family. I need the Army to be there for us. Now you want to make sure that your family is taken care of. And so if for no other reason, get on the registry. What the PACT Act does not do is put these fires out. There's a push in Congress to force the Defense Department to find a different way to get rid of waste. But in the meantime, a Channel 3 news investigation last winter discovered there are seven active burn pits still in operation. In the newsroom, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.